For those of you who aren't familiar with Google Apps Script, um, I'm going to show you how to install my script. So when you, you'll go to script.google.com, log in with your Google account, and then you're going to want to create a new project. When you create a new project, it gives you a stub of code. You'll replace that stub of code with my code. You will want to um, go to resources and advance Google services and give this a name. Doesn't matter what the name is for your project. Assuming you've never done it before, you'll have to uh, accept the terms of service here. That's a one-time thing. Uh, so it'll bring up uh, a, a permission here that it uh, tells uh, Google that you want to use the cloud platform that you agree to their terms of service. And then you need to Turn on advanced Google services, so you need to go to the Gmail API. This uses the Gmail API, so you need to turn that on. Uh, I'm going to save that again. Then I need to run this one time, so I'm going to uh, press run, and then I'm going to run the test messages function. And when I do, it's going to ask me to give permission to my Gmail account uh, in order to be able to run this script. So review the permissions that it's needing. It asks for the account that we're logging into to give it permissions. This is a security uh, notice from Google because this app hasn't been verified by Google and it won't be. Uh, so I need to go to advanced and go to it anyway, even though it says it's unsafe. Um, and then these are the permissions that uh, this code that I wrote is needing access to. So you need to allow those permissions. Now it's been authorized and it's actually running. And if I go to view executions, I will be able to see that it's running. So you can see now that uh, it has completed running. It took it over five and a half minutes to run. Uh, so if I click on this execution, then I can see the logs from that. And I've written into the logs every time I've filtered a particular email address. So the results of what it did are in the log. So now that, uh, now that I have uh, run it successfully. I need to schedule this to run. So I'm going to back into the the uh, code editor. I'm going to go to my current triggers or I can do that from the dashboard as well. It's right here my triggers. So I'm going to add a trigger and test messages is the function that I want to run. Run it on head. Time driven. And so I'm going to do it every 15 minutes. And press save. And I'll now see that I've got uh, an execution scheduled uh, to run. And it'll run every 15 minutes from now on, uh, checking all the messages in my inbox. So if I go look at my inbox to see the results of what it did, If I go into my settings and look at the labels, I'll see that I now have in the user labels, I have a contact label and a filtered label, and it shows you how many conversations are in those. So those are the two that are created by this code. And if I go to filtered and blocked addresses, it is creating all of these filters. So as it sees um, a uh, an email from someone that is not in my contacts list, it creates a filter 
uh, applies that label, moves it, uh, moves it out of the inbox, moves it to archive. Uh, you can still see the message. So if I go down and uh, look at filtered, then I can see all of the messages that it filtered. And so every time it runs through, if it finds a message that is uh, from someone in my contacts, it puts the label contact on it. And if it's not in my contacts, it puts filtered. The ones in contact stay in my inbox. But that allows us to skip those messages. Uh, the filtered ones are out of the inbox, so it won't look at them. But the contacts, it won't look at them the next time because if it's already got a contact label on it, it won't look at those. So it'll just keep going down my inbox. Eventually, it's processed everything in my inbox. So if I ever need to uh, start receiving messages, I'm going to need to create a contact for that email address and remove the filter as well, uh, the filter that got created uh, otherwise, it'll continue getting filtered out.